It will be the biggest single capital project ever pursued at NMSU. At a place like NMSU, it struck me that if we want to be all we can be, the only way we can do that is to do it together. So the arts complex is a major commitment to face the university, both physically and symbolically, out to the people that own it. I think families will enjoy coming here and being enriched by cultural experiences that they may not have otherwise. And also, we have to remember our wonderful retirees. I see a place that invites children to come in and imagine without borders, literal and metaphorical. If we can provide that for the kids, I think we have achieved a lot. The arts complex. I love the sound of it. Las Cruces is going to continue to, to grow as fast as it's been growing. The extra space for the arts at the university, we're going to need it. We need this facility in order to compete on a national level for the best students. Corporations and companies look at the cultural environment when they look to relocate. It's user friendly. But I think that's the thing with the arts, we need to feel like they're accessible to everyone. It's a place where they're welcome. So the gift we give our kids is saying, here's a place for you to grow. Here's a place to be nurtured. Right. This has to happen. There's no option now. I, I look forward to this arts complex because it will be a venue for audiences of all ages, for immigrant women, for underserved audiences, young people. Sister Liberty. It, it would do wonders for a lot of those talented people that live out here in the Southwest. There are 194,000 people in this region. There's an uh, untapped potential and a hunger for the performing arts that has yet to be fulfilled. The economic impact of a building such as this is almost immeasurable because so much of it is indirect. We have quality students that play in the orchestra. Certainly we have local players, we have faculty, we have out-of-town players, and we have internationally renowned guest artists. And for us to grow artistically, we need this arts complex. I've done very well in this community and I, I owe it back to the community. Uh, and I, I guess I'm a wannabe artist of some sort. I, I admire people within the arts. I think they worked hard to get to where they are and I admire them for doing it. There's a real need for young artists, young musicians, to be able to see the more established artists and what they have to offer. This, this whole idea of experience, you can't just you know, take a pill and all of a sudden you can do all these things. It's you have to hear, you have to watch, you have to try it for yourself. Why have this facility? Because it becomes a magnet for all of the arts. It brings the arts together, then it brings those whom we are serving together. I see it as completely life-changing for Las Cruces. Art education is not about creating professional artists. It's about creating whole human beings. This is for your children, this is for your grandchildren, this is for your great-grandchildren. What's the one sentence we give to people out there who can help make this happen? There's the one sentence for our children. Hello. We need to have something that is going to draw us all together that we can look at and say, that's where we're going. We're in the great adventure of the journey to excellence at NMSU as a single unit, each part of that unit doing what it can, but recognizing and appreciating the value of the other parts. Life is complex, and art allows us to better understand our complexities and difficulties of life. And when we find that special artistic expression that provides our life with new meaning, then we will never be the same. And this is exactly what is going to happen here. Las Cruces, New Mexico, will never be the same place again once the arts complex is built right here.